Picking full stack web development career might be the wrong choice for you. Let me explain. This video was brought to you by Diginic Academy, your number one source to learn how to make money programming and get that six figure salary you desire. Our academy have a wide range of courses, including 3K in 30 days, our mentorship membership program, and much, much more. When you sign up for our free community, you get access to our membership community with like-minded professional who's gonna help take your career to the next level. So let's take the first step to get started and really take your career to the next level with our seven step money guide today. So let's go ahead and click the link below to sign up for our free seven step guide to help you get your career started today. All right, guys, let's talk about full stack development a little bit. Most companies like the ideal of a full stack developer if they're smaller or a mid-sized company who don't have a lot of resources in the IT department. They just have one developer who can really do a lot of the coding from the front end to the back end to database development. And it actually works out pretty good. For a long time, I did exclusively full stack development and I still do to this day. I lean more towards the SQL side of things, but I still do a lot of stuff on the front end and on the back end. But guys, a lot of this can hurt you when it comes to the job market. And I'm gonna give you guys some perspective on how to market yourself as full stack developer so you can get the, the benefit of being able to have more opportunities as far as jobs and also niche down and have the luxury of getting that high end job as far as your salary is concerned. So let me tell you guys a quick story. So as I was coming up, and I made some notes here by the way, I wanted to make sure I hit all my points and uh, um, make sure I, I give you guys all the important things as far as just full stack development. But back to the story, when I first started um, developing, we did a lot of stuff on the SQL side and the company that I was working for at the time, they decided, hey, we wanna go into Microsoft.net uh, framework route and um, that's something that we needed to learn. So me being me at the time, early on in my career, I was like, I'm gonna be the best full stack developer ever. Hope this camera is focusing in. I'm gonna be the best full stack development developer available and learn any and everything about .NET, C Sharp. And at the time, VB was still a thing, still is today, but it's nowhere near what it used to be. And I said, I was gonna learn all this. So I went on a three month tear just learning any and everything about Microsoft. Long story short, it didn't work out to my favorite guys. I got burnt out, didn't work out. All the stuff I learned would kind of went out the window, went to a course and everything as far as just on-site course. Um, I think the company was uh, IT Solutions or something or something along the line of training. Did there for a week, just went all in on Microsoft ASP.net. Come to find out I didn't use any of that stuff. And the reason why I didn't use all that stuff because I wasn't project focused. I didn't go look at what the company needed from a project perspective, what the gaps are, and then based my learning experience based off for that that's the mistake a lot of you guys make you just come in and just learning everything saying you're a full stack developer and never niche down and then you got the general pool of knowledge which is number one by the way general developers don't make as much money as the niche developers and the reason why is guys it's all perception People feel like if you're a jack of all trades, you don't know how to do one thing better than the other. They just perceive you as just getting by, not necessarily being the expert. And a lot of times that's gonna be the case, guys, because me, for example, you know, my, my knowledge go really deep on the SQL side, that's why I hang my hat on. But when it comes to JavaScript, a lot of the front end stuff, that's when I have to lean on other developers to get the work done. But I still have knowledge in JavaScript. Technically, I'm a full stack developer. I just don't market myself that way because of that reason. I don't want people thinking that I'm a generalist and that they're gonna lowball me on other projects outside of SQL. And the, the number one way to get around this, guys, is number two, is to customize your resume. When you customize your resume, it puts you in a position to always look like an expert. Even though maybe you don't have all the skill set you would need to be considered expert in that area, 
you have the experience level you have the uh, knowledge you have all the projects to support hey i know what i'm doing in this space and over time guys as you already know especially with the small and mid-sized company you get all all kind of coding projects thrown at you so it's rare that you're just gonna pick one programming language and stick with it um, the luxury of a bigger organization though is you have a department you have teams that focus on a specific module of a particular piece of software. So you can go all day using uh, C Sharp or Python or Java and that's all you code in. And technically you just niche down in that space. But we don't have that luxury in a bigger company or in a smaller or mid-sized company, guys. You have to manage a lot of different software platforms, a lot of different databases. And sometimes they all match. A lot of times they mix and match. But you have to be able to support and be able to do the day to day and the day to day don't necessarily require you to be an expert at every area of that software development or of yet that full stack that you're supporting so just know where your niche is just know what you're good at and know when to um, have the general skills and know when to go niche down in something guys and it's all about perception like I was telling you guys as, as long as you're solving the problems it don't matter to the client at the end of the day the problem is it comes in when you start to talk about salaries and raises and coming into the job that's when people start to that fool stack start to hurt you because that's when they're gonna start throwing up well you're a generalist we need somebody specific or it's like okay Hey, you're not an expert at it you kind of know it that's when it starts to hurt you guys and that's when i always say niche down your job N niche down your um your specialty your skill set even if you're applying for a full stack developer job niche down to that industry say you develop specifically for a specific industry here is your um specialties and it can be in coordination with them it may not be in that specific uh industry but a lot of stuff related as far as just project workflow optimization a lot of software stacks that stuff is important guys so i know i'm hitting all these points home as far as just the salary that's where it's gonna hurt you at guys i talk about this in my seven step guide um it's below guys so go ahead and sign up for that we have a money guide that helps you position yourself for the interview process and also as a freelance freelancer you're trying to position yourself for projects too it's very important that you kind of know this going in and you don't necessarily be in the middle of negotiations trying to find out which strategy to use so i talk about it in the seven step guide we also talk talk about that in the community too guys so that's one of the things that we're going to continue to push is that community and that's what we're here for to build a, a community of like-minded developers so links are in the description box for all that stuff guys so at the end of the day niche developers are going to make more money we know that already so Rod, how do i still leverage my full stack skills and still get the high salary that i want and i kind of laid it out for you already but you basically have a general skill set a base skill set and i call it the base skill set of a particular tech stack you're going to have more skills in your niche area this is actually the area where you're going to market yourself as for the most part i am a secret developer but i dabble in other places too that's the mindset you want to have i am a php developer but I still do the basics of a uh, SQL database just to make sure things are good, just to do the basics and stuff like that. People tend to understand that and they pay you accordingly. So you gotta keep that in mind so that we can keep moving forward, guys. So again, we talked about, you gotta niche down. That's the first thing. Don't be a generalist, guys, that's gonna come back to hurt you and also you're not gonna lose out on opportunities. Everybody think, man, if I niche down, I'm gonna lose out on opportunities. You're actually gonna get more opportunities, guys. I, I remember when I became a senior level developer, when I was working on this project, uh, I've got the, the specific one, but uh, it was dealing with GP and accounting, and I never did anything with GP and accounting at all, as far as this database, don't know the structure or anything like that. The guy in charge at the time told me, I know you can do it and you've done all these other projects. You got your skill set. Even if, even if you fail, we will be far ahead than I get somebody else and then they succeed because I know you're gonna line out everything. You're gonna give me the perspective uh, where you need help at and put the resources in place to get the, uh, the project done. 
What I'm trying to say is guys, you're not gonna lose opportunity. People are gonna give you more opportunities as your experience level rises and you got the reputation to know, hey, he, this guy completed all these projects. I'm just gonna throw this at him just to see where we land. I know it's gonna be a good place when we land, hopefully a success, but a good chance it's gonna be success anyway based off of that. So guys, how are you enjoying the content? Really trying to change some things up, put things in a, a way to I can present this in a better way guys i'm gonna start really being project focused and start kind of engaging with you guys and kind of make the content customized to what your specific needs are i'm trying to juggle between the beginners the intermediate and the advanced so i'm gonna find somewhere on the the um left side of that or try to find somebody on the beginner side of that intermediate and then i'll throw some videos out there for the advanced guys too to kind of show you guys love so like subscribe to the content if you have questions comment below guys let me know if you agree with me comment below um, let me know if you disagree with me comment below and also as you comment below go check out our premium courses below guys help support the channel and join the community and go ahead and pick you up a free course or a premium course if you already signed Signed up for the seven step guide links are right here for the seven step guide i'll see you guys in the next video peace